All right, guys, welcome back. Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. Stop by and see us. And today I want to show you how to target by household income and income levels. Okay, so this is a, a pretty cool feature under demographics. If you're running a campaign where you can target, well, at least Google's data of what they have that of uh, income levels for people who use their search engine based on their browser settings and all the all the other uh, metrics that Google collects from people, which is kind of frightening to be honest, but um, it works out to our advantage, so that's a plus. All right, so if you want to target like different household income stuff like that, what you're going to do is go into whatever campaign you're working on. You're going to come up here in the side navigation bar down to demographics. You see we have a few different things here, age, gender, household income. So if we go under household income, we can choose the top 10% of household income, 11 to 20%, um, lower 50%. So unknown, honestly, I would never exclude unknown because you could be excluding a lot of good stuff that Google's just not sure about. So it just I would always leave unknown unless it's unless you have data that says it's converting really shitty for you and you need to pause it. That, other than that, I would never mess with unknown. Um, most of the time, you want to run this with data, and you would be able to see um, which income levels are are the you know look at your data and see which ones are converting for you and which aren't. So. But it, right off the bat, if you want to just negative out, or actually not, not negative out, but turn off, you just come here, exclude from ad group, you do it at the ad group level, you can uh, just check these boxes for like the lower 50%, or 41 to 50%. So maybe if you just want to do lower 50% of income, household income, you would just take that, edit, exclude from ad group. And you're essentially telling Google, I don't, don't show my ads to people that you know of who are in the lower 50% of income bracket. Okay? So that's kind of uh, something you can play around with. Again, this is a great um, optimization tactic as well. Once you have solid data, I mean like three months of solid data, I would come in here um, and just start looking around at the stats and just see like what's you know what's driving leads, what's not, what's getting a shitload of clicks and not converting, and um, just adjust accordingly. That's all I really do, and you can a bit adjustment too. So if we know that 21, or if we know 11 to 20 percent of household income is converting really well for us you can come in here and just bump that bump that up you know and just tell google hey i want more of that i want more of that uh traffic all right and same with if it's converting shitty down here or even up here it depends really it really depends on your location um you can come into google and say decrease let's uh let's drop that by five or ten percent or whatever and um i want to pay less per click for people in this income level so that's pretty it's pretty cool something that you can play around with I'm not gonna go too in-depth into it but that's the gist of how it works so something you might want to think about when uh, starting out a campaign and also same with age and gender stuff like that you might want to play around with but I'm gonna save that for another video besides that if you guys have any comments about household income drop them in the comments below this video give us a, a thumbs up if you can uh, subscribe to our channel we drop content daily so there's a lot of free training coming down the pike. And besides that, I would say check out the links in the description. I put some, some stuff in there for you guys, a lot of free guides, free Facebook groups, stuff like that, where you can pop in and just uh, mingle with other people running PPC, ask questions, all kinds of cool stuff. So hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video or in the Facebook group.